Hi, my name is Robert Mack with Keller Williams Realty in the Orange County area, and today we'll be discussing why your home didn't sell. Hi, my name is Robert Mack with Keller Williams Realty in the Orange County area, and today we'll be discussing why your home didn't sell. But before we start, there's a couple cool features on this blog that I'd like to point out. First, if you're looking for a home, click on the home search link. And second, if you're curious to know the value of your current home, please click on the home value link. Both those links are free. Now back to today's topic, why your home didn't sell. Now, if you're receiving this video, it's very likely that you tried to sell your home in the past and were unsuccessful. Now, in my experience, there could be a lot of different reasons why a home doesn't sell. But if you narrow it all down and really look at kind of the execution of the selling strategy, usually it comes down to one of three things. It's either price, it's exposure, or it's gonna be that the buyers didn't get the right emotional connection when they walked into your home. So let's jump right into it with price. Now, it doesn't matter how nicely your home shows, it doesn't matter how many upgrades your home has, it, it, all that stuff doesn't matter. We're in a price-driven market right now, and most buyers are looking for a great deal. So if you're selling a home in an area where homes are going for nine to 950, and you price your home at a million fifty, you're very likely pricing yourself out of the market. And there are a lot of shifts happening in our current marketplace. So if you're getting ready to put your home back on the market, it's very important that you really understand what's going on in your neighborhood when it comes to inventory, competition, recent sales, and things of that nature. You really wanna make sure you price your home according to the market. Secondly, your home didn't receive the right offline or online exposure. I'm sure you've heard me say in the past that real estate is global, okay? So buyers are coming from all over the world. They may be buying your home as a local or they might be coming overseas and purchasing your property. But the bottom line is, is if you don't get the word out about your home and the fact that it's for sale, you're not gonna get a lot of activity. So you've got to have a great combination of traditional marketing, which is the offline stuff. So your broker caravans, your open houses, your door knocking, uh, your direct mail campaign, things of that nature. However, don't neglect the online approach. And whether you're going to use Google pay-per-click or social media targeted marketing or high quality videography, pushing it out to all the different websites, the bottom line is buyers love information. And the more information you have about your home online, the more you can educate these people to come and take a look at your property. And third, the buyers didn't get the right emotional connection when they walked into your home. So again, you could have a great property at the right price, but if a buyer walks in and doesn't feel like this could be their new home or they don't feel like they're at home when they walk into your home, it's very likely that they're not gonna submit an offer. So when you're preparing your home for sale, don't focus so much on the price and the exposure. You also wanna put a lot of effort into how your home shows. Are there small repairs that you can make? Is your home decluttered and it needs, I mean, is your home cluttered and it needs to be decluttered? Do you have too much furniture in your property? Are the color schemes off? Is the furniture too big for the room? Does it make the room feel small? Don't neglect outdoor space or front, you know, the front of the property with curb appeal. There's so much that goes into the marketing of a property. And if you work with a great realtor, they can help you with all of your goals. That's the message for today. If you've got a property in the Orange County area that you've been struggling to sell and you'd like to know how we sell properties for the best price, please reach out to us. Our contact information is on the screen. If you saw this on uh, Facebook or YouTube or any other social media channel, please share it or like it or leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing so we can keep creating content that you like. And third, if you've got any ideas that you'd like us to expand on in the future or questions or concerns that you'd like to ask us, please let us know. Our contact information, again, is on the screen. We'd love to hear from you. And until then, happy selling.